Today I'm going to show you how to make papaya salad, which in Laotian translates to thamakung. This is a really popular dish because of the combination of flavors. It's sweet, spicy, sour, and salty. And as you all know, I love spicy food. Like super spicy, blackout spicy. So we're going to start with um, peeling the papaya. You want to take just the outer layer of this off. Once your papaya is completely peeled, you'll want to rinse this off and then bring it back to your cutting board because we're going to shred this. All right, so now that my papaya has been washed and dried off, we're gonna start shredding it. The traditional way to do this is by using a knife and kind of pounding it into the papaya like this. I don't normally do it this way because it takes up too much time. So I have this tool that does it for me and you basically just run this through and it shreds all of your papaya into little pieces. And this can be found at the Asian store. It's about two or three dollars and well worth it because you can use this on carrots and cucumbers and any other vegetables that you're trying to julienne. Before we get started with um, combining everything together, I'm going to cut up the additional ingredients that go into this. Now I am adding Thai eggplant to this. This is optional. I like it in here because it tends to add um, a nice texture to the papaya salad, plus it absorbs all of that sauce up. So you just want to go ahead and cut the stem up and then cut it in half and then I like to just um, slice it really thinly and then the tomatoes I like a lot of tomatoes in here because it adds a lot of liquid to the sauce so I'm just using cherry tomatoes and just cutting these in half to make this we're gonna start with garlic and Thai chilies and I like mine extra spicy so I'm using about 10 um, Thai chilies then we're gonna add a little bit of salt to this and don't over salt this um, basically, I'm adding the salt in just to um, keep the garlic and Thai chilies from splashing up at me. It kind of adds a little bit of a grip to everything that's going on in the mortar. I don't have a large mortar, so I've kind of gotten creative on making this. I add everything to a bowl and then I combine it with my hands, which I actually really like because then you kind of massage that sauce into the papaya and it sticks better. So the next thing I'm going to add are the tomatoes. And sugar. And just go ahead and pound that down. Be careful with this um, because the juice from the tomatoes will splash up. Um, and hit you in the face. You don't want that chili getting into your eyes either. Except and then I'm going to add the crab sauce. So there is fermented crab in here and it's just pretty much um, in its liquid. So I'm going to start with two spoons. This stuff does smell pretty bad so I tend to keep it in a Ziploc bag in the refrigerator keeps for a really long time. You can also freeze it, um, but I would recommend just keeping it in the fridge so that it's ready to use right away. Next I'm going to add the shrimp paste. Add the crab paste. And this is really black. I mean, it looks kind of scary, but I like it because it adds a nice crab flavor, but also um, it adds nice color to my papaya salad as well and just go light with using all of these ingredients because um, anything that's fermented is going to be pretty salty next we are going to add the eggplant and I add this first just because it is a little tougher than the papaya you don't want to 
mash everything up. But you also want to like use the pestle to soften all of this. Now I'm going to scoop most of the chunks into my bowl. Um, and then I'm going to put my papaya in here and do the same thing. So I'm going to start with a handful at a time. Like I said, my mortar isn't very big, so I've had to get creative and make it this way. And you just want to pound this all around. Use your spoon to flip it from the bottom up so that it gets well combined with the sauce. If you have a larger mortar, you don't need to add it to a bowl. You can just make all of this in one batch. So I'm going to add the rest of my papaya. Alright, now add this all to the bowl. I've just lined up a plate with cilantro leaves and dried shrimp. You can serve this plain or else you can add these um, sides to it. It's also good with fried pork rind as well, but this was what I found fresh in the Asian store, so that's what I'm going to serve it with today. Papaya marinated in that spicy, salty, sour, and sweet sauce. So.